It's cold. It's also obviously snowing. <laughs> anyway, I just, oh God, it's really cold. I should really wear more clothes. I mean, I'm wearing a sweatshirt and stuff, but. Uh, what are you doing, person? Can you move? Okay. So, to gym or not to gym, that is the question currently that's happening in my brain. And I don't, I need, uh, I kinda need to go shopping um, for like food and stuff. Oh, are those my brakes squeaking? That's obnoxious. Um, man, yeah, no, if it's, I think it's supposed to, to just keep snowing like this. And if it's only 4.30 and ugh, it's literally freezing, I'm not gonna wanna, I don't wanna do what I did the other night when I went to the gym when I really didn't need to go to the gym and then I almost got hit by four trucks because they think that they're impervious to ice. So I think what we'll do instead is we'll go shopping. Do I have enough food to get me through? I do, okay, fuck it, we're going home. <laughs> it is freezing, and my car doesn't warm up quickly at all. So we're going home, because it's freezing. Ugh. I spent the last like hour of my shift reading a safety thing, binder thing, that was thrilling, especially because a lot of it was, no, I should go to Walmart, shit. Um, a lot of it, a lot of it was things that I already knew because the first like entire chapter was if you've never worked in a veterinary clinic before and I have obviously for years, so I knew all of it already. But, you know, you gotta do, oh, maybe I should go to Target. Okay, we're going to Target. Because it's right here. And maybe they'll have like a bigger sweatshirt. I need a new sweatshirt. This one's not bad, but because it has the little thumb hole things, um, the sleeves are longer than I like, so I always end up folding them over and then it's just a huge pain in the ass, honestly, and I just need a new sweatshirt. So we're just gonna go, okay, lady, that's fine, that's cool. No, it's cool, it's fine. We're gonna go to Target because Target might have a sweatshirt and I can, they're not gonna have like any of the food I want. <laughs> oh well, that's okay, we'll at least go to Target for a sweatshirt. I really don't need to go to Target for a sweatshirt. It's fine, we're already here. Fuck it, we'll put it in the fuck it bucket. Okay, oh, you're much taller than I am in your giant truck. Okay, let's go see if they have a sweatshirt. Okay, well, as anticipated, that was a waste of time. <laughs> and now I just have to pee really badly. So we're going home. And they did not have any of the food that I eat. As also anticipated. I mean, they have like cheese and stuff that I could have gotten, but what's the point if I'm gonna have to go to Walmart in a couple days or a Winko or something? Anyway. Why do people walk so slow? Okay, we're going. We're going now. We're officially going. Is this hot at all? No, no it's not. Oh, that's cold air. Okay, anyway, any way. Gosh. I don't have anything to follow up that anyway. I, I just am cold and I really need to pee and that's like the only two thoughts that I have right now at this current second of my life. 
It's really cold and I need to pee. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna have my house to myself all this weekend. And I don't know what to do with that information. Other than probably shouldn't watch a bunch of scary shit because I'm gonna be alone. But also, at some point in my life, I'm gonna live alone. And I can't not watch scary stuff forever. So I'm just gonna have to kinda get used to it and get over it, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch some scary stuff. Oh my God, it's fucking cold. And then, ow. Watch some scary stuff, maybe. Throw a party, a rager. Not really. That's way too much work. <laughs> Balls, it's cold. And I really want to break my diet. Oh, it's kind of warm. Okay. Whew. Because although it's balls cold outside, right outside my work is like a Taco Bell and a Raisin Cane's and all sorts of stuff. And it smelled so much like French fries and oh my gosh, I wanted it so bad. And everybody ordered in for lunch today and so there was like a bunch of yummy food and then some vendor or somebody brought us a giant box of like gourmet, good looking ass donuts. And I'm not a donut person, but and they sure looked freaking good. I don't eat any. But, you know, I'm struggling a little bit. I've been struggling since the wedding, let's be real. Because I bought a whole fucking cake last weekend. <laughs> I only ended up eating like maybe a third of that also. I'd just like to point out Maybe that's what I should just do. I should just buy a cake every weekend. No, no, not really. Not really, especially if I keep making excuses to not go to the gym. Although I feel like this is a pretty valid excuse because it's just gonna keep snowing and snowing and I just don't wanna deal with it in two hours, you know? The sun's, I mean, the sun's not really up. I mean, the sun's up, but it's very, very cloudy, obviously, because it's snowing. Duh, science. But I definitely don't want to deal with this business when the sun is actually legitimately down. So. Going home. And I'm going to eat something at home. I don't know what yet nothing I can think of that I have for food sounds good at all. I'll figure it out though. Ooh, actually meatballs sound kind of good. I've been on a meatball kick since I bought those meatballs. And they're turkey balls actually, I think. And put some marinara sauce on them and put some cheese on them. Oh, they're yummy. Okay, that sounds good. And wow, I'm really hungry, and I didn't realize that until like right now because my tummy is hungry and they angry. Also, I have to pee really badly. So there are a lot of things happening right now, okay? I can't focus on anything else. Leave me alone. Look at poor little Fred. He's half dead. Poor little guy. Boop. <laughs> Hi. I don't remember what I was talking about last time I saw you guys. What was I doing? I came home from Target. Oh, so I finally peed and I ate food. So I feel better. I think that was the last thing. I was yelling about needing to pee and eating food. So I did those things. And then now I'm hanging out. Had a nice... Yeah, little dog? Now pee or something? You out of water? Pets are so needy. Anyway, what was I saying? I already forgot. Um, I had a nice, oh, that is standing up super creepily. Okay, it's Yes? Please speak into the microphone. Yes? 
She's so needy. <laughs> Wait, where are my, oh, there's my water bottle. Anyway, um, I ate food. I had a very nice long conversation with my brother about life stuff. And then my mom came over and then I talked to her for a bit and then talked to my sister-in-law for a bit and now it's like nighttime and it feels like Friday and it's definitely not. So I have to go to work tomorrow. Um, seven, six, it's only 6.40. Getting off early, <clears throat> not going to the gym. And it being snowy and already dark outside makes it feel like it's like night. So I'm already like tired and ready for bed. But anyway, I've been watching the Philip DeFranco show about the Empire star guy that like fucked everybody over and like lied to everybody. It's real fucked up, you know? But for those of you who don't know, Empire is a show that I do not watch because I don't care. He went to the police saying that like men attacked him like yelled racial slurs at him and oh no molly's battery's gonna die and all sorts of stuff and then it turned out all of it was fake and he staged everything um which is really fucked up because that just makes everybody that that actually happens to less important also more people are gonna be like okay but you're just making that up Okay, well, I'm gonna change Molly's battery. I don't know if I'm gonna talk to you guys more. I probably will. I'm gonna change the battery before she turns off on me, okay? Okay, I switched Molly's batteries. And while I was doing so, because let me walk you through this. So, where I charge Molly's little batteries, it is right here, okay? Cause, you know, it fits. And you know what I noticed while I was changing the batteries? is that after, well, during, um, setting up Spooky Corner this past weekend, um, a gap formed in my curtains. Like that. And I sat there and stared at that gap to the outdoors for maybe five minutes. Um, because it's alarming, you know? I don't like gaps in my curtains. I have curtains for a reason. Because I don't like seeing outside. Because that's where spooky things live. And that's what always happens in the horror movies. It's when somebody walks by a gap in a curtain, there's a fucking person standing there or some bullshit. So why don't we close that gap right now, actually, and then, oops, talking about it. Excuse me, lamp. Okay, well, now I'm safe from all of the spooky outdoor demons like skinwalkers. And friends and family, skinwalkers are terrifying. Also probably real. I'm sure most people wouldn't believe they're real, um, but of course I do. And they're fucking creepy. Anyway. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I watched an interesting thing this morning on the Philip DeFranco show. For those of you who don't know, it's a, like, news-ish show on Netflix. Um, they were talking about fuck, what's it called? Sub wages, maybe? Is that it? I don't think so. That doesn't sound right. Um, Hold on, let me look, let me look. Don't wanna be that idiot. And I'm definitely being that idiot right now. What is it called? I'm Catherine. Hi, I'm Okay, um, of course it doesn't say in the title what it's called and what I'm looking for. Less than minimum wage for disabled people. Um, and the video was about if that's exploiting disabled people or if it's helping them. Um, the consensus, Kyle, was that it depends on the facility doing it. 
I guess there is a place in Vegas that's really helpful that does it. Um, and it's for people who are disabled enough that they probably wouldn't be able to get a job anywhere else. So in that case, it is life-saving. Um, but yeah, that's... It was just interesting because I didn't really know that was a thing. Um, I guess it kind of makes sense. But anyway, um, I don't have much more to discuss with you fine lovely people today. Um, I might not be alone all weekend because while mother was here, she said that she'll come down and hang out with me for maybe, I don't know if she's gonna hang out the whole weekend. So Molly just turned off randomly. I don't know why it does that. Um, so I don't know if she's just gonna be here for one night or both nights. Um, but so that'll be fun. So she'll probably be at my vlogs and we'll hang out and stuff. But anyway, I am not gonna go to bed because it's only 6.50. <laughs> but I wanna go to bed. Um, but I think I am gonna sign off with you guys. Um, Cause I'm not gonna be doing anything for the rest of the night. Because although I keep thinking it's Friday, it's not Friday. Because it was my sister-in-law's last day at her current job. So in my brain, I keep thinking it's Friday because she doesn't work tomorrow. And I keep thinking I don't work tomorrow. And a lot of people I worked with today don't work tomorrow because they worked Monday through today. But I work tomorrow. So I'm not gonna be doing anything exciting. And I slept really bad last night and I don't know why. So I went to bed and I was freezing. So <laughs> I had a sweatshirt on, I had sweatpants on, I had socks on, and then I was still frick freaking cold. So then I put a beanie on and then I finally fell asleep and I woke up at some point in the middle of the night with the beanie still on. I took the beanie off and then I woke up some point in the middle of the night again. I was really hot so I took my pants off. And I just woke up a bunch last night, so I'm really tired. So I'm probably gonna go to bed earlier. And I'm going to bed later the last couple nights than I normally do. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed. This weekend, I think I'm definitely going to start or create my new YouTube channel um, to go more in depth with like, stories and just talk about like one story per video um i think i'm not gonna worry too much about the editing at first though and kind of i don't know make it more like a podcast type thing except not a podcast i don't know maybe i should just make a podcast because i don't know if i'm ever gonna be good enough at editing to like do stuff but I don't know. I think I'm definitely going to start that this weekend, though, because I want to. I have things that I want to talk about, um, topics that I want to talk about, stories that I want to talk about. Um, so maybe I'll just phrase it as like a podcast type thing where I'll just sit there and talk. Because <laughs> that's what podcasts on YouTube generally are, is, or at least the ones I watch. Um, because they generally get uploaded to like Spotify and iTunes and shit like that. It's literally just them sitting there in front of the camera talking. There's no editing or anything because if you're listening to a podcast, obviously you can't see somebody editing a different video into it. So I think that's what I'm going to start with at least. <laughs> so yeah, but until then, anyway... I think I am going to say goodnight to you guys. Probably eat more food because I'm still kind of hungry. And I did have those turkey meatballs with some marinara sauce and cheese on them. So good. Um, but already that was like an hour or so ago. So I'm kind of still hungry. But I'm also not. I think I'm dehydrated. I don't know what's going on. Okay. But anyway. Um, that's 
kind of all I have for today. Yeah. I have all sorts of like life lessons and shit that I want to talk about, but I don't uh, I don't know, you know. Okay. Well, anyway, I love you guys. I think Yoda's going to come say goodnight to you. Yoda again. You're saying goodnight to the vlog? Hmm? No, you run away from the camera? Fine. Okay. Well, anyway, I love you guys so much. Please like <laughs> and subscribe. I know I'm being kind of obnoxious about it. but And share this video and do whatever you want. Maybe not, maybe not whatever you want, because for some people that'd probably be a bad thing. Um, anyway, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow!